Marcy, what were you saying? I said, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> why, why is this awesome? I don't know why anyone would ever do it differently, but... You had your drink in your hand? Drink in my hand. I've got... Okay. I just finished a popsicle. I'm at like a freaking seven. Whatever that means. Meaning I'm close to a ten, which is when I give birth. You've got to do it this way. You can have a baby soon. Get an epidural. It's awesome. That's why you should do drugs. <laughs> Right. And there's all of her drugs. <laughs> there's Emerson. There's the monitor. There's a little baby heartbeat. Baby Armstrong. And there's beautiful Marcy. Thanks. Here, we gotta go up because you don't want the double chin. Especially the scar that you have. <laughs> yeah, you can see it a lot better now. <laughs> How many pillows she has? One, two, three. There's one over there. Four. There's one back there. Five. I think there's one underneath six pillows at least. Yeah. And then I have three pillows over there on my couch bed. This is like the nicest hotel I've been to. <laughs> Hey Marcy. Hey, I'm How are you? Good. How are you feeling? Great. Your hair looks awesome. Right. Does it? Right. I'll yeah. This is what I really think. I mean, I know that you've, you've given it the whole college try, but this kiddo does not like pushing. The heart rate keeps getting down in the 70s to 80s, and it's really not coming down. It's just kind of wedged in there. So, like I said, if the heart rate was looking good the whole time, we'd sit here and push for as long as you have energy in. I know you have a lot of energy. So. <laughs> she hikes the line. Yeah, exactly. But at this point, where baby's not tolerating, I think the best thing is let's just get a kiddo delivered, get it out. And unfortunately, the way to do that is through C-section if you want to do it. So that's what I would recommend, so we have a healthy baby. What do you think of that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> she said she, you know what she would say. Whatever works, huh? Yeah. Right, however, to get him out. Yeah, I think right now, you know, because baby's still Everything's okay, but if we keep pushing and measure how they just can't go down, and then we're going to be doing the emergency C section, but that's a lot scarier situation. Right now, he's recovering, but they get to a point where they, they just don't recover. Yeah, and if that head was coming down and it was moving out, you know, we'd be okay. We can maybe give it a little bump, maybe another 10, 15 minutes, and we're going to have a baby delivered. But with you, if that head's not budged, and you're going to be pushing for hours. Okay. So that's what I'd recommend, just so we can have a healthy baby. Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to get you moving pretty quickly so we can get this kid all out. Um, we turn the head off. Okay. So we'll get you all moved back to the C-section room just right next door. We'll get you some right here. stuff put on. Okay. Yeah, some nice funny suit. And then we will have a, there's a window that we can open. So okay. if you want to look through and take pictures and stuff. Okay. All right. Hey, Dad, we're just going to have you sit right out in the chair right there.
grab you. Okay, so 16 and 17 meter paper. Oh my goodness.